Hello everybody, it's your friend Kevin and um, this is your vibe of the day but this morning I was um, inspired to and guided to bring one of the guides in to talk with you but let's get to the um, card this morning to give a sense of why that happened. So the card I pulled this morning to settle in and do my meditation on was um, the one from Archangel Jophiel, or at least this is her card that popped up. And this is from the deck by Kyle Gray, um, Angel Prayers Oracle. Um, there you go, that's it. Um, Jason McCready did these images. Anyway, um, the theme really in the prayer that goes with today's message is thank you, Archangel Jophiel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. And that led me to ponder on, wow, we have really taken this turn away from seeing, acknowledging and finding the beauty and the benefits and the really the miraculous, incredible um things that we are as not only spirits but as we are as humans being on this planet sifting and sorting and um, going through the motions of physical embodiment um, and all the way through discourse, disharmony, disagreements. Um, there's just been this overwhelming feeling of 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 fractiousness. I've noticed in the last decade or so that as we come up to the end of a year and the beginning of a new one that's about to launch, there are mixed feelings. The holidays, as we call them, all over the world, whatever religion, tradition you follow, uh, and there are times where the Christians obviously feel like they follow the birth of Jesus and you can go into many other religious ceremonious beliefs um, and they are celebrating um, all kinds of different things through all kinds of the year but there's always a time in a calendar year that most religions, if you will, groups, celebrate at some point life, celebrate the gift of it, celebrate the journey of it, celebrate the offerings of it. For those who have taken a spiritual journey and have gone to spirit and have remembered their spirit and remembered that we are far more, at least I believe, and I don't expect you to believe it if you're on your road of understanding and discovery, but I believe that I am far more uh, than this physical body. But it did take a while to get there. And I'm not sure if it was the reprogramming in physical form that deprogrammed the spiritual because I think it's all basically what you dial into, tap into, turn on to. Uh, and what makes your heart sing and lift, feel joyous, feel happy, is typically what I like to follow, as opposed to what makes it dark and dank and difficult and fractious and disconnected and angry. So this card and the message from me and the angels is a little leg up to remind all of us, myself included, that we're far more beautiful than we actually are conscious of or realise. In the eyes of the creator, whether that's God for you, the universe, whatever created you into existence, and the energies, I like to call them angels, you may not, guide, spirits, are asking us all 
to take the time to look at ourselves in this same way. Not to compare ourselves with other people. Because beauty, real true beauty, goes way beyond the outward appearance. That's all connected to being vain. It's time to take steps to make ourselves feel good. We're given this incredibly beautiful heart. And I think the energies that are out there, again, whether you call them spirit guides, angels, um, want nothing but the best for all of us. They want nothing but to boost the confidence. Um, I also think that they can, we can all be incredibly harsh on ourselves. Saying things like not being good enough, not this, not that, not the other thing. So this morning, I'm going to invite in... Oh, I've got goosebumps, so I know they're here. I'm going to invite in um, the alchemist to come and speak and um, just give you some words of encouragement and some, perhaps some words of remembering. Um, and so eyes down, heart open, uh, keep a nice tall spine and just take a breath in and a breath out. Hello, 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 all of you out there, this beautiful land, this beautiful planet, many call it the blue planet, it is so good to come gather with you on this day. It is true that many of you will be experiencing some rather traumatic times and many of you will feel a sadness, a loss. I believe in the parts of the world there's a celebration of battles. There's an acknowledgement of those who were in physical form and fought against control and they fought against folks taking over the wars I think you call them the battles you call them the physical battles the disruptions of life in beauty and freedom and I am here the alchemist your big friendly wizard that helps to change things that's part of that energy that they talk about in scriptures. In the Bible, there are stories that, you know, the Lord Jesus turned water into wine and created food for 5,000 people. These are fables of sorts. It's about faith. It is about the believing that it's possible. It is about the visualization and this ethical or, or ethereal place ethereal being the place that no longer stops and starts it continues going which is really part of the entire galaxy in the planetary system and just as the inhabitants of each one of these areas of the universe changes so do the inhabitants upon which they exist including the earth and for many of us in spiritual form at some point or another there was a connection to the earth and the earthbound way of being and living for spirit guides your ancestors the ascended masters cannot possibly understand and work in human form unless they were of human form. You will have heard many of the light workers, the light warriors, whether you call them intuitives, mystics, 
those who are in communication with spirit. It is all the same thing. When you come from and vibrate from and exist from the energy and vibration of pure, unconditional love, beauty is available to you. You begin to see things in a completely different way. You begin to look at things as you are supposed to look at things with the filter, well, not a filter exactly, with the clarity, there you are, the clarity of beauty, the clarity of unconditional love, the clarity of this could not get any better. It is what many, many folks who leave their physical world feel and experience the process that most Christians understand as the ascension into where they believe this word called heaven, euphoria. It is intoxicating in a way that makes the entire spirit rejoice and lift up and feel free and alive and incredibly I don't even know there are absolutely no words to describe the expansion process that is happening in your spiritual world right now if you could imagine this place this glorious place that is an existence just as your physical place and how close it's coming to where you are. And how everything's moving in this direction. You would have heard many mystics, psychics, whatever you decide to call them. Those who work in the spirit world will be describing it as fifth dimensional energy. As opposed to third dimensional energy. The average individual who goes to and fro their daily work is not necessarily going to really want to really know what all this is. But there is an awareness of it. The awareness that things jump. The awareness that things are beginning to happen that are unexpected, unexplained. How do you explain that this thing happened over here but didn't happen over there that person had this that person did not it is a state of confusion and in the state of confusion there is no seeming clarity well to reorganize or realign balance folks with this vibrational energy Things have to be shaken up. And indeed, many of you are being shaken up, tossed around, dramatic feelings, reactions, anger. Many of you have experienced the lack of love. And in its place, you have put the dark feelings of selfishness. Jealousy, anger, resentment. Many of you have experienced either lashing out or being lashed out upon. We've heard and seen and witnessed some of the ugliest of behaviours from folks who ordinarily would be beautiful human beings. Similar to a toddler who picks up a toy and throws it at another one or a small baby child who begins to experience fits of anger for no reason. It is the balancing of what is to come, what is to happen. Not saying that every single day should be filled with reaction and anger, debauchery and violence, absolutely not. For those who are of the light, lifted in love, 
vibrating beyond that, lifted far, far away from it, this will not affect you. This will be merely something you observe, but not necessarily anything that will affect you. Surely there will be times of great remorse, great anger, great reaction, and the challenge of how do we find the light where there is so much darkness. And in this world, and why I have come to speak to all of you, There are many scriptures, stories, prophecies. Whether you look at whatever Bible, whatever version, whatever scripture comes from whatever religious organisation wrote them or changed them or interpreted them. There are stories that exemplify or exemplify or whatever uses ways to teach the way forward is coming from goodness. It's coming from safety. It's coming from working together. It's coming from camaraderie. It's coming from equal love. The challenge is for those who have not vibrated with that whether it be in this lifetime or many before it. This is a foreign. This is something they want to push against. And it isn't something that they really are have control over. One group of people believe that another group of people need to be annihilated, killed, removed. That is the installation of hate the installation of control, but it all comes from the installation of fear. For fear is what causes these disruptions. And so I'm not suggesting that in your daily ups and downs and turmoils and disagreements and arguments and all of the things that have burned themselves upon your pathway, I'm not suggesting that all of a sudden you start adopting this new way of being, what I am saying in truth is that inside your being you are given this big, incredible option of choice. And you can, in the moments of harsh reality, choose how you respond. How do you respond to a person who is seemingly behaving counterintuitively to yourself? Meaning that how do you respond to someone who comes at you with the anger and the accusations and the pure darkness? At your door, how do you respond with love and light when you feel either offended or you feel oppressed, or you feel pushed or you feel shoved, or you feel like, oh, this person is after me, going to get me. There's some fear there. And perhaps the human habit is to lash out. If you look at many who have walked the earth, Mother Teresa, one of the modern ones, Mahatma Gandhi, another, in women it was Joan of Arc, in modern times it's Emily Pankhurst. There have been many who have come and who have embraced your earthly world in an attempt to change it, in an attempt to turn it around. And indeed, they have made their mark upon the society within which you live. The British Prime Minister, known as Winston Churchill, was one who decided that they were not going to be controlled by the leader of Germany who had charmed his way into the minds and the hearts 
of powerful people, deliberately on purpose, with the sole intention of taking control. I'm here to tell you, the Mother Earth, the Father in the Sky, the angels, the ancestors, the universe, all of us in the collective spirit wish to remind you through the Archangel Jaffiel's message today, you were created out of love. You were, your intention of being in and on the planet is of love and beauty and to see that beauty is deeper, greater, more powerful than any vanity you could ever place upon it. And when you realise that there is just as much beauty in the shape of a tree, the blade of a grass, the love from a dog, the devotion of a bird singing to you from the trees, thanking you for the seed. When you see in the middle of the coldness and the bitterness of winter, small flowers coming up, that little glimmer of hope, the early part of the spring in some parts of the world where animals are giving birth to new life. People are giving birth to new life. I'm here to remind you of this new life is filled with beauty. It is filled with love. It is filled with hope. It is filled with camaraderie. It is filled with that energy that right now at this very moment is being controlled but pulling apart and the coming apart of all that is not for the highest good of the entire universe. Find ways in which to love one another. Find ways in which to respect one another. Find ways in which to understand one another and definitely find ways in which to forgive one another. Be thankful and grateful. You have this life. It is incredible and you have chosen it. And for that, my dear friends, it has been a joy to come and speak with you and deliver this message to you. We love you so very much and we're proud of how you are Meandering through this challenging time, stay strong, stay with love, lift your hearts in spirit for that lives within you and spirit will respond by placing the golden light upon your pathway when all may seem dark and dismal. Until next time, go with love, live with light and open your heart to the greatness of who you are. Bring your hands to heart centre at your chest if your eyes are down and closed. Be grateful, be thankful for all that you have, all that you are about to have, all that you are about. And then lift your thumb knuckles to third eye centre and let's place our love and light, kindness, gratitude throughout the world as we bow and say namaste. Thank you, my friends. Until next time, be well, be joyful, and we'll see you soon. Bye.